Dear friends, for the month of June, the month of the most sacred heart of Jesus, let us reflect on God's love for us and our love for God with the doctor of divine love himself, St. Francis de Sales. Spiritual Letters and Meditations of St. Francis de Sales, Patron Saint of the Institute of Christ the King, Sovereign Priest. Part 1. Duties Towards God. Chapter 2. Of the Means of Acquiring the Love of God in Which Perfection Consists. You asked me how one can acquire the love of God. I reply, by willing to love Him. And instead of setting yourself to think and ask how you can love Him, setting yourself to practice by a continual application of your soul to God, and you will arrive thither very much sooner by that road than by any other. There are souls who employ themselves so much in thinking how they shall do something that they have not the time to do anything. And yet, in whatever regards our perfection, which consists in the union of our soul with the divine goodness, it is not so much a question of knowing as of doing much. In my opinion, those whom people ask the way to heaven have great reason to reply, as persons do jestingly, that to reach such and such a place you must keep straight forward and set one foot before the other. Keep straight forward, we should say to these souls anxious for their perfection. Go in the path of your vocation with simplicity, applying yourselves rather to action than to aspiration. It is the shortest road. But here is a subtlety that I must unfold to you, and it is that you would that I should tell you of some way of perfection ready-made, in such sort that you would only have to put it over your head, as one would a garment, and by that means might find yourself perfect without any trouble, that is to say, that I should give you perfection ready-made. Oh, certainly, if that were in my power, I should be the most perfect man in the world, for if I could give perfection to others without their needing to do anything, I assure you that I would take it in the first instance for myself. You seem to think that perfection is an art, and that if one could find out the secret of it, one would have it without any trouble. Certainly, we deceive ourselves, for there is no other, no greater secret than to do and to labor faithfully in the exercise of divine love, if we wish to unite ourselves unto the Beloved. But I wish it to be observed that when I say that we must do, I must always be understood to speak of the superior part of our soul, for as to all the repugnance of the inferior, we must trouble ourselves as little about that as passerby do of the dogs which bark at a distance. Those who at a banquet keep picking at every dish and eating a little of everything derange their stomachs and cause indigestion, which prevents their sleeping. So those souls who would taste of all the methods and all the means which conduct or may conduct to perfection do likewise. For the stomach of their will, not having strength enough to digest and put in practice so many various means, a certain crudity and indigestion arises, which takes away from them their peace and tranquility of spirit in our Lord. Which is that one thing needful that Mary chose, and that shall not be taken from her? St. Francis de Sales, pray for us. Always remember, be who you are, and be that well. May God bless you.